hey guys now loads of you have picked triple science just because you had to pick 10 you don't want to go and do science at a level but you had to pick 10 and you quite like science so you thought triple science is a good idea but as we're coming towards the end of year 11 is it still a good idea Some of your schools might be suggesting that you drop triple science and just stick to double science. Or if your school hasn't suggested this but you're thinking about it, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages and how can we actually go about doing it? So the advantages of moving from triple science or combined science down to double science is that there's less to learn. That's it. There's less for you to learn. You get one less GCSE, which is the disadvantage, but there's less for you to learn. And if, for example, you're struggling in um, maths, or you're struggling in English, or you're struggling in the subject that you want to do A levels in, like history, spending the time not doing science, which maybe you don't want to do an A level in and isn't a core cool subject, spending that time instead of doing science but doing one of your like core subjects one of your a level subjects instead could be a better use of your time now the best thing you can do with this is just sit down and talk to your parents and talk to your teachers say you're thinking about making this decision but if you have less to study for science you can spend more time on your maths on your english the things that are really really important and this is going to benefit you in the future because getting a high grade in maths or English is going to look much more impressive to employers than getting three C's in chemistry, physics and biology, for example. So there are loads and loads of advantages to dropping down from triple science to double science. Now the disadvantages are you get less GCSEs. But nine GCSEs instead of ten GCSEs is still really good. In the future, no one's going to sit there counting looking at two applicants going, oh, this one has 10 GCSEs and this one has 9 GCSEs, I'm going to pick the person that has 10 GCSEs. It doesn't work like that. 9 GCSEs are still really, really good. And if those GCSEs are better than the person that has 10 GCSEs, well, good for you. Now, if you are thinking about doing a little science, I'm afraid I'm going to advise that you stick with the triple science because so much of the triple science units comes up again in A level. If you do double science and then move on to A level science, you are going to struggle a little bit. So, dro dropping down from triple to um, double science is really only going to work if you don't want to do it for A level and you are struggling in maybe a couple of other subjects. So, how can this work? Because your schools might go and say, no, it's not possible. And honestly, if you decide like the day before the exam is not going to be possible, but deciding quite early on, it, it is possible. So if your school has entered you for core additional and further additional, it's really easy, really, really easy. Because the further additional is just a whole separate exam. They've entered you separately. You just don't revise for it. Now I know I'm gonna be like so unpopular with your teachers for telling you this, but just don't advise for it. Just, just mentally drop it. Turn up for the exams if you want to, because you never know, you might, you might get C. And honestly, they're gonna, probably gonna be straight after the um, unit two exams, so you might as well just stay in the, the hall of the gym or wherever, and sit the exams and just see what happens, but don't advise for it. But if, your school has entered you for biology, chemistry and physics, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. And this is where we need to talk to your teachers, um, talk to the exams officer, and this is where we need to get like a little bit of a hurry on because entries need to be in soon, basically. So, um, if they entered you for biology, chemistry and physics as separate GCSEs, your unit one, your unit two and your unit three all get mushed together. So, if you completely don't revise for unit three, well, you're kind of screwed because that also negates your unit one and your unit two marks, which means you're going to come up with a rubbish mark, basically. 
So you need to talk to your school, talk to your exams officer and convince them to change what they've entered you to core and additional or combined science or whatever your exam board calls it. But before you make this decision, talk to your parents, talk to um, your teachers, talk to your advisors, make sure it is the right decision for you. Yes, it gives you less to advise, but make sure that um, you know your school has entered you for the right things and is not going to screw up your future by not revising for these things. Um, so good luck guys, um, I know a lot of you are going to be making this decision at the moment, if you need any help, just ask.